Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Nimbatus with me, Elathrix. And of course, welcome to the episode where we finally start to unlock some weapons and harvest some planets correctly. So today, we are building a harvester, we are building a brand new attack drone, and we are going to a brand new system. So, let's go to this one down here. It has more to do, so let's jump straight on over to there. We have left the sumo in the last sector, which I will go back to in the future and sort out, but for now, we're just doing this. But first, I do need to check something. In the galaxy, in this system, if you have only one weapon, you do have significantly faster digging. That would be great if we had stronger weapons to really capitalise on that, but at the moment, if we're going to use any digging weapons, we're probably going to need quite a few of them. So, let's just stick with the regular drones for now, though I will test that out later, most likely. Okay, so what I want is this fellow again with the sensors. Are you the sensor version? No, you're not. Where is the sensor version? There we go. Let's edit you. Delete. In fact, no, we'll duplicate you. Then we will delete the drone underneath and then make two more drones, essentially giving us unlimited lives on the planet. It's a little bit cheesy, but that's how the game works at the moment. Really, the factory blocks are horribly overpowered, and I will be using them for the time being. So, we're going to have a digging drone over here, and then on the other side we are going to have a fighting drone. Before we do any of that though, what we really need to do is sort out what weapon we're going to use in our attack drone. So I think I'm going to use either the blaster or the shotgun. I feel like these are some of the better weapons before you get the upgrades. When you can afford loads of upgrades, the other weapons seem to do better. And honestly, I just haven't really tested out the shotgun enough. So, sure, what I'm going to do is purchase... Oh, no, I can't. I need some of the blue resource. We really need to find a lava world as soon as possible. Although, increased fire rate's pretty good as well. So, for now, I'm just going to grab increased damage. And I'm also going to grab increased digging. Not the best, admittedly, but still will be fine. So, for the damage weapon, obviously, we're going with damage upgrade, damage upgrade, and reduced energy cost. There we go. And that will just be shotgun basic, because why not? Now for the digging laser, it's essentially the same deal, just we're going to also grab the extra digging capability. Nice and simple. I would like some of these, but once again we do need the blue resource for that. So there we go, we are now going to be using shotguns. So then, let's sort this out. Everything I build in this game ends up looking... Honestly, either like a really weird space invader, or just something that's ate way too much over the weekend. Also, should not attach you to there. Oh, in fact, what we could do, and it probably would be easier to do this, would be having the thrusters only tied to this drone, so using the logic splitter that way. That way I can keep the same controls. Though, it would actually be even easier just to use the arrow keys for one drone and, and um, WASD for the other. It only gets complex after the first two, so for now I'll just leave it like that, that'll be fine. Do you know what would have been good? Setting up this first before we did the test? Now here's an idea I've got, I saw this ages ago on the Nimbatus Twitter. It's a really simple concept and a really nice one as well. And it's essentially this. So we go like this. It just makes harvesting a bit more fun, really. And then I also am going to need two of the splitters, one for each. On each of these, I am then going to go ahead and add one of our sensors. You there, and you there both following the cursor and the idea is that the thrusters which I'm about to attach to it will always send these two arms after the cursor and then they have the suction weapons on them that might be fun in theory that should work yeah there we go that's so stupid oh that is way too stupid Glorious. 
I've just realized something. I was going off logic from the previous build, which is just unnecessary. We do not need these logic splitters. We could give each directional sensor different buttons. The only reason why you would need that splitter is if you wanted multiple of the same creation or if one dies. And now I've said that, actually no. Those logic splitters, great idea, keep them. These, on the other hand, we don't need. Which is fine, I guess, but actually, it is, it is better to do this and remove the logic splitter because we could add a knock gate. Nice and simply, we could add a knock gate to the main creation here. So these thrusters only activate if a certain button isn't being pressed. So actually what I meant to say there was an AND gate, so we can do the opposite. So I have to press a button, and then the thrusters activate, and they also need the input from these. So they will move towards my mouse only when I'm pressing a certain button. That means these won't be going mad whenever I'm not near the main drone. Lathrix did a, a smart there. It's a rare thing, very rare thing, so savour it. There we go, it's a butt AND gate. Then on the bottom of these arms, we simply add these. And these should only activate when the arms are moving. Well, able to move. It's silly, it's really not very efficient, but you know what? It'll work, and that's the important thing. Now we need to add some energy so these can even function, and then add some lasers, and then realistically that should be pretty much done. Oh, and of course, the ability to move. That might be helpful. The drone on the left looks so sad. Please, no, I am falling. Help me, brother. You're no brother of mine, resource drone. So that's the pitch for my new drama series I'm going to be starting soon. Drone Brothers. At odds. Needs a better name. And concept. Voice acting. Animation. It's got a while to go. I swear, in the future, I am going to try and make smaller drones. This is something Lathrix needs to start doing seriously. There's a problem. The hinges are a bit... loose. We could use the motorized instead, so instead of using thrusters, we simply move the hinge side to side, but I think this is more fun. Mine, collect, return. Okay. Now to just end the design, do a few more changes, and then we're good to test this thing out, finally. Also, I just figured out a really easy way to separate these things' controls, so we could easily, like really easily, have used the same controls on both. It's simple. We have an AND switch, you know, these things over here I've been using, the AND gates, which are connected to the camera. Which basically means you need that camera to be on in addition to then using the thrusters, otherwise all of these things just don't work. And in fact, yeah, that would solve a lot of the problems. I was going to say a little bit more than was needed there, but yeah, that's a really simple way of doing things. See, I'm slowly figuring out how all of the different logic gates will be able to connect to each other. I'm still on a really low level of skill with this thing, but I will get better. I will. And builds in the future will look so much better than builds at the moment. That's the idea, at least. Just making sure I can swap between the two drones. Yes, I can. The controls aren't mixing. No, they're not. But yeah, that would have been a much easier way to do this. Whee! The only controls currently overlapping are the lasers. Be my friend. No, brother. <laughs> you know what? Fine. Let's just get started shall we let's just do this planet's mission finally although before we do that we could turn this into a resource spider remarkably creepy yes functional kind of now will you be no i didn't even finish my sentence this time this is going to cause so many issues isn't it this design It's so stupid. And yet I kind of love it. And for some reason I keep seeing a face right there. Eye, eye, mouth. Don't know why, but I do. Into the planet we go. So let's release both. 
to make it a bit easier for this poor drone to get up top. And let's go. Now, you should land in the resource bin, if I'm correct. So, I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, yeah, air resistance. Let's test out against that. Whoa, the bonus um, digging is really effective. That's good. What am I after? The transmitter. Well, found some resources for the other drone already. Shotguns are very good against the ground. Good to know. Okay, so we've skipped ahead a little bit. I've already done the mission here without recording it because it turns out there is an issue with the camera controls. Essentially, when I used the camera, it wouldn't swap back to the main body because I had set up the switch incorrectly, which basically gave itself a feedback loop, basically. So basically, what I need to do now, basically, is just kill the transmitter again, basically, to make this world safer for the other drone, and then basically I can go and harvest. That's called making fun of yourself. Okay, so you there. Let's kill you first. It turns out shotguns are incredibly powerful. Okay, one shield down. Definitely not our power supply since we have so much. But shields definitely feel like they've been nerfed a little bit, which I'm mostly happy about, honestly. Maybe designs with heavy armor will be better in the future now. Oh, shields up. Ahem, thank you. Yeah, heavier armor might be better. Still fully functional, just lost a bit of fuel there. Okay, so that's it. Now all, all I need to do is turn off my um, camera for this drone. Ta-da! And then swap over to the other drone, who's currently r resting in here. It's my turn. Oh god, this is such a creepy drone. Why am I so slow? Is it the air resistance here? What is the air resistance on this planet? Is it high or is it normal? If it's normal, then we have a problem. Oh, I love this thing. It's so creepy. So creepy. Oh, we do have a problem, though. Look. Some of the thrusters are acting on each other. Not all of them, but some of them, yeah. Well, I'll fix that in just a sec. Still, so creepy. Really simple problem. I forgot that I added more arms, so three of them were clones of each other, all giving each other the same commands. Yeah, that is when the splitter would be really helpful. And now they all work as intended. Lovely. Friends? I've just realised that looks like an eye and then a really weird hairdo. Oh, it's Mummy Drone! Okay, let's try this out again. The air resistance is awful. It really slows things down. We're not a particularly fast drone anyway, but still. Uh, can you guys get in front, please? Thank you. It's so creepy. Did we see resources down here? I forgot. I know there's definitely resources over here, so let's go this way. It's like a jellyfish. A really creepy, lasery jellyfish of doom. But a jellyfish, nonetheless. Is it down here or... Nope, there it is. Lovely. And there we go. Uh, can you two get less stuck? Thank you. Apparently there's bits of land still left. Oh, there it is. That's why. Okay, that works out just fine. Let's move on and find more resource. That air resistance was driving me mad. Look, we're not that much of a slow drone. It's just under high air resistance. It's horrendous. I'm also considering putting thrusters on these so they go towards the mouse more aggressively, as in forward thrusters. Oh, yeah, we're meant to be killing the eggs. Oh, we can do that on the harvester. Still after resources, though, more than anything. Oh, hello. You guys explode, don't you? Well. Well. Um. Can you kill these guys as well, please? No. No, of course you can't. We can do this on the resource drone. It will be fine. Da, 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 da. No. No, we can't. And we're also not yet ready to make the next drone. Okay. In that case, let's swap on over then to this guy. Which apparently was also killed. I was wondering why that wasn't working, the camera switch. I thought I had broken something. No, it's just... 
It had been killed. Stupid world serpent. Well, at least you guys go pop nice and easily. Hello, former children! Well, at least we can get rid of you. Just a bit of extra range on the shotgun would be fantastic. I thought you couldn't fire down, but apparently you can. That's annoying. Mining! Is it you who can't fire down? Yes, it is. Okay. Is this area safe now? Shall I go around and kill some more of these guys first? I think so. Aha! Come on, move faster, move faster, ma faster, faster, slower, faster, that doesn't work. Oh, no. I still think you look more like a centipede than a serpent, just putting it out there. Well, crap. Ha. Ooh, red, lovely. No, no, I lost my, f no, my fuel got detonated. Why would you do this to me? Wrong one. Thank you. We really are not that slow. It just felt so slow on the other world. This is a fine speed because it's easy to control, but we are getting around fairly quickly. And of course we do have shotgun boosts, which are surprisingly functional. Are we there yet? There we are. Hello! Why? I mean, I know why I'm trying to kill one of your eggs, but still- Wait, no, this is a hive. Still, I am killing your eggs. So I know why, but why? Really? Oh, bad. I'm faster than you, serpent boy. Yeah, now what you gonna do? Look at me scratching your head with my lasers. You are very annoying. They are very annoying. This world is very annoying. Did I just lose camera control? What happened? Well, you died at some point, but... That's annoying. Yeah, I rewatched that last clip. We lost our camera to one of the explosions. It's right there, just underneath the main energy cell. Shields don't really do anything versus explosions, though that's the problem. So one thing we could have done is used an AND gate with the camera rather than with the weapons, and then only when I'm using this drone do these things activate and follow the mouse, but then they're always following the mouse after that rather than only when I'm using my weapons, which is a bit clunky to really move them around. I'm learning a lot very quickly, which is good, at least. Not much resource on this world, so... Yeah, not much really done. Just need to kill the rest of the eggs, I suppose, so I should go back to the fighting drone soon. So this is where the eggs have been. Ah! Ah! Well, too bad! I've already killed your brood! I am victorious. It only cost... many, many drones. Oh, okay, nope, no, I'm gone. Bye! So I've been doing some editing with the drones, and I think I've made them now significantly better. The controls are a lot easier, they have more batteries, so they're more functional. And honestly, they're just a lot of fun to use. They're not the best drones in the world, but they certainly have proved the point of this type of design, having multiple, oi, main drones attached to the factory. How did you guys get through the land then? Is there really no resources down here? Did I really come through here for nothing? That's just annoying. Goodbye to you as well. And then let's grab this. Take away that and absorb. See, these things actually work really well. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. However, of course, I should have used the combat drone first. But I wanted to test this thing out. Off. Don't kill me before I get the resources, please. 
Thank you. Nom 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 nom. That is so much fun. Let's return that, just in case I die. Hello, my pretty. Yoink. Terrible idea. Terrible, terrible idea. Go away. Well, you've broke some of me already, so I may as well fight to the death. Wow, I look so evil right now. Love it. And... Pop. Excellent. My arms! My beautiful arms! Again, I should have used the combat drone first, but I wanted to test this thing out more. Your resources are ours. Slowly. Slowly. Damaging lasers would be so much better at this. Honestly, with damaging lasers, this thing wouldn't make a terrible combat drone. Just add some shields, a few more batteries, and then have the damage boost lasers. What am I stuck on? There's always like a little bit of ground left, always. Let's grab that. Ooh, shiny. That poor arm at the back is so broke. It's only got one of the two thrusters, so it can't move correctly. Yeah, maybe motorized hinges would have been better. Uh, let's just make this a bit easier on ourselves, shall we? That's what I wanted to see. Once again, little bits of terrain, always. Okay, we're full. Let's go and take this back to the resource depot. Where is that bit of terrain? Ahem, broken arm. I know you're being annoying right now, but I still want you to be attached. Thank you. Need more resource tanks. Definitely. Don't know why I've got three of the two rarer ones and then only two of the more common one, which we use all the time. But apparently that's just what we've done. And that's the last of it. So with that, I'm afraid I really am all out of time for today's video. I've had a lot of fun, I've learned quite a lot, and the next build similar to this should now be significantly better. Although honestly, I don't hate this design anymore. To begin with, I did start to hate this design, but right now I'm really happy with it, especially the collector. I find it loads of fun to use, and if we make it a little bit easier to use, and now I'm turning into resource, I think that would be perfect. So with that, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Nimbatus is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching, and goodbye. I am now resource.